Robert Wheel of Mutt. Woo! Let's go! We're coming up on Christmas quick. We got our third Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl ring in season four, which ties me with only three players in the NFL who have three rings currently. Dude, isn't this crazy? There's only three dudes in the entire NFL right now that have three rings and nobody has more. It's Joe Tooney, Deron Harmon, and Matthew Slater. Those three guys have three rings, nobody else. So we joined an elite club last episode, but if I wanna be the only guy with four rings gotta win one more and at the start of every new wheel of mud season there's a ton of stuff to talk about so let's dive right in first and foremost the team is wiped of every single player except my prestige players and as you look at offense you'll notice gronk you'll notice jamar chase but nobody else my prestige was not offensive i had a long mental debate with myself i was thinking it might be tyreek hill because in my head tyreek hill was the obvious offensive player of the year candidate but but Tyreek got injured and was out and in the week that Tyreek was out Christian McCaffrey had three touchdowns and like 180 yards from scrimmage so all of a sudden it kind of looks like Christian McCaffrey could also win offensive player of the year so after that I said no I'm not gonna go Tyreek just in case he doesn't get it and nobody else jumped out on me on offense our prestige player was 93 overall limited I don't know if this is a shock to any of you. There were a lot of good options. I low-key could have taken Josh Allen and had like a choice between quarterback outside linebacker. But honestly, I'm worried about Josh Allen getting another card. The Bills have been wishy-washy. They, they should make the playoffs though, I hope. Ray Lewis was surefire. And you know why Ray Lewis is so good? Ray Lewis, obviously an insane user. And I got to update it. Previously, I had the 92 Ray Lewis. Now I have the 93 Ray Lewis. And the 93 Ray Lewis starts the game with eight plays of Avalanche. So if I get a downhill hit stick, I get the ball. That's insane. You also, of course, get zero AP Lurk Artist. And I think the best part is Ray Lewis is an excellent all-around linebacker. He has a 90 zone coverage. Now his main coverage is dog shit. But 90 zone is amazing. So if Ray Lewis ever becomes an outdated user and I need to upgrade past him, I can still put Ray Lewis at left outside or right outside linebacker and he's going to be incredible. So this was the right call. I will miss Richard Sherman and those DBs. It is weird to be this deep in a wheel -a -mutt season without a quarterback corner prestige. There's three corners out there, sometimes four if you're a nickel. So this is weird. And then of course, Nick Bosa. Okay, there's one tiny saving grace. One tiny saving grace on this bum. Ghosts of Mutt is dropping super soon. In fact, it may have dropped today when you're watching this. I feel like Nick Bosa could get a Ghosts of Madden present. That's the only thing I can think of. He's not gonna get future. He's not gonna get past. He's right in the sweet spot to get a Ghosts of Mutt present. He hasn't gotten a card in so long. That's my hope. We'll see on Nick Bosa. Of course, we still got Derwin chilling at a 90 overall, hoping he eventually gets a new card. Jamar is still chilling at a 90 overall. Eventually, I hope he gets a new card. And then Gronk uh, and Ray Lewis are incredible whether or not they get another card. Special teams, Harrison Butker is honestly incredible whether or not he ever gets another card. It doesn't matter. He has Zun Kicker. That's the only thing you really need. I actually, I really like my kicker prestige choice. That was um, Galaxy Brain. Also, don't forget that once the Christmas presents open and I drop a Wheel of Mutt video, I will open every single present I have and add it to the team. Should be a huge boost to the lineup. As of right now, we've got a simple present, a gold lavish, a blitz lavish, probably. I used to think this was a Seahawks player, but it's probably a blitz player. Gray simple, nice legend present, nice team of the week, nice red and burgundy. I don't know what this one is. And then a blue simple present. And if I can complete the challenge wheel all the way up through Christmas, I can add even more presents. So let's stay on the lookout for that. The second thing I gotta do, and this is the first time I finally remember to do it. When you win a Super Bowl in Madden head-to-head, -head, they give you this three times trophy pack bundle. They honestly have pretty good players in them, so we're gonna add these players to our lineup right now. We'll add this red zone pack, which you also get for winning the Super Bowl. Three times trophy pack bundle. All of our work last season winning that Super Bowl gives us this massive payout right here to kickstart my 73 overall line. So let's take a look. Our first trophy pack. What do you got, baby? One legend player. You know what? It's an upgrade. 84 cam. What the? What? 
never seen that animation. I've just never seen that animation before. 89 overall, Great Iron Guardians, Najee Harris. That's an excellent start at running back. And then our third player is a Redux player. Could be really good here. 90 overall, Adrian. Holy shit, let's go. 90 overall, Adrian Phillips. He'll go to free safety. And then I'll probably put Cam Chancellor at my sub linebacker. He would not be a bad sub linebacker. And then Najee, obviously, my starting back. That is a excellent trophy pack to start out. Dude, I need a corner, though. Out of these next three, let's get a corner. A zero chill player. 86 Josh Oliver. All right, a backup to Gronk. Or maybe a fullback. A headliner. Okoronkwo. Now we're looking for a team of the week. Devin Singh. You know what? I think this Singletary might actually be better than... This might be better than Najee. A little faster than Najee. He's five foot seven, so he's just... He's significantly more agile, whereas Najee's bulky. I actually have a running back duo. I can take my pick of the litter here. Final trophy pack! Ken Riley, Ken Riley, Ken Riley! Champ Bailey! Hey! I was saying Ken Riley because he's a corner, but obviously Champ Bailey's a corner. That's actually the worst pull we could get because he doesn't help me at all. And then our third and final zero, chill at Oliver. A little help to the D-line. I love it. I'm actually going to quick sell Gramatica for 4,200 training and i'm gonna go re-roll that training there's nothing that says i can't do that like why can't i re-roll training i could also potentially add what we get here unless these players are useful red zone packs got doug kramer it's got a campus hero Bukuamu, honestly a better corner than what i have in so he will start xavier hutchinson won't get any reps jerry rice will get reps and one unstoppable player that is that is a starting quarterback for me right now all right boys i sold martin grammatica for 4200 training so i'm gonna take 182 plus Zero chill. I gotta remember to reroll and wheel a mutt. Like when I'm getting rid of players, all right, that doesn't help me for dick. All right, so some big rewards for winning the Super Bowl. Base lineup still looks like shit, but it's a little better. Got Doug Kramer up there. Singletary and Najee, kind of, kind of cool little running back duo here. Marcus Mariota, Josh Oliver at fullback and backup tight end. We got uh, 80 overall Jerry Rice and then Silver Amonro with Prestige Jamar. And then defensively, Adrian Phillips at free safety. Derwin at strong safety. Camp Chancellor's the backup. We got Israel Mukua at corner three. Champ Bailey at corner one's great start. Nick Bosa, our long lost prestige at right end. Ed Oliver at D tackle and Okoronkwo at left end. So I I'm chilling. Linebackers are still full silvers. Every single one of these corners and safeties is still going to get cooked by a really good team, but this is so much better than silvers. So I'm happy. 79 overall, great start. Next thing we got to do is spin the team wheel. The team wheel determines a few things at the start of every season. It determines my head coach, stadium, and jerseys, but most importantly, Importantly, it determines my playbooks. Last season was the Philadelphia Eagles season. This season is the season of the San Fran 49ers. Oh, that's so sick. Yes. I thought that was going to be Texans. Let me go set the lineup. I'm so excited. So Shanahan at head coach, we got 49ers base stadium, the Niners unis. But what's going to be really exciting is this 49ers offense. I've never personally ran it, but I know they have that gun Debo package where you can take a wide receiver and put him in the backfield. That's gonna be awesome. So Jamar's gonna get some reps and hopefully we'll pick up some more awesome wide receivers to use there. And then 49ers defense don't know much about it either, but we made Eagles work last season. I have no doubt we can make 49ers work. Now, the only other thing we had is there was a rage quit in the Super Bowl last season, but I think starting with a 79 overall, we've already made some really big adjustments. So I think it's fair that we don't take those. We're gonna kick this episode off with our three wheel spins to build the lineup. It's always exciting at the start of a Wheel of Mutt season because no matter what I get on this wheel, we will have so many positions, so many players to choose from, so many upgrade options. Our first wheel spin is a blitz jackpot. Dude, I didn't have any blitz players last season. I can take any single blitz player in the game. Hmm. Okay, well, we do know that there's the really good Puka Nakua, but honestly, is wide receiver the position I need the most right now? Dude, if I had gotten this wheel spin even like, I don't know, two or three weeks later, I would just obviously take Puka. This is just hard. How do I take Puka Nakua here when Marcus Mariota is my quarter? I'm sorry, Puka Nakua. If I can find a way to get Puka down the line, I will, but I have to go with 92 Christian Gonzalez here. Way too important for the team. Six foot one, 200, 93 speed. He's such a good card. If I I took Puka right there and then got torched on defense every single play. I don't, I don't think I'd hear the end of it. I'm taking Blitz Christian Gonzalez. And all right, the first wheel spin is a massive defensive upgrade. Our second wheel spin. Come on, baby. Season five's got to stay high. 
limited jackpot, meaning any limited player. You know who is a limited? Is Derrick Henry quarterback. <laughs> he is a limited, but I'm not gonna lie. Derrick Henry quarterback is just too gimmicky. There's honestly so many insane limiteds in this game, but I know exactly who I want. I want 94 overall limited Kyle Hamilton. Oh my God, on paper, this is the most disgusting card. We'll have to see how he plays because I've never played with this Kyle Hamilton. But this man is 93 speed, 93 zone, 93 man, 93 hit power, and he's six foot four, 220 pounds. He does not have a single stat that isn't fucking crack. There is no downside to this card that I can see. He would be an absolutely disgusting user if I decided to user him. I mean, we do have Ray Lewis. Damn, I'm really loading up on Ravens, huh? All right, Ravens fans, it's just your lucky day. I did the same thing last season until I nuked Zay Flowers and Odell Beckham Jr. But for a million coins, we're getting 94 overall Kyle Hamilton. You might be wondering, why would I go Kyle Hamilton when I just pulled Adrian Phillips? There's a method to the madness here. Kyle Hamilton gets one AP pick artist. Let's start there. I'm gonna give him universal coverage and I'm gonna put him at my free safe. Derwin stays at strong safety. Now where Silver Carrington Valentine is, I can put Adrian Phillips. Where Champ Bailey is, we can put 92 Christian Gonzalez. And where Israel Mukuamu is, we can put 88 Champ Bailey. I now have zero liabilities in the secondary. Yes, I still have a lot of linebacker liabilities, but everybody knows Madden is a pass heavy game. Every single one of these guys can cover now. I think it was crucial that we did that. And I have one spin left to hopefully grab myself a quarterback. I really don't want to walk into this game with Mario. That was risky to go Kyle Hamilton, but I think he's going to pay off, dude. He looks, he looks like a stud. Our next wheel spin. The age jackpot. I can get any single player in the league, but they must be. Ooh, 30, 30 years old is a pretty good quarterback age, actually. This could be good. I can get any 30-year-old in the league. Born July 29th, 1993, at the age of 30. Dak Prescott. Oh, we got Dak Prescott. Are you kidding me? Honestly, a pretty sick card. I've never used this card. 91 overall Dak. Great accuracies. Great quarterback across the board. I'd be really shocked if he got hot route master, though. So maybe this won't be our end game quarterback. He's got gunslinger, and I'll give him gift wraps. We'll give him run and gun. That's 3 AP on our quarterback. Totally usable for right now. I plan to upgrade him, but if Dak can get me a win right now and I can hang on to these players, then hey, that's my quarterback. All right, boys, here's what's on the line today. We got 91 overall Dak at quarterback. We've got limited Kyle Hamilton, and you know what? I'm actually gonna move him to strong safety. I don't like him out of position. And then on defense, we got Kyle Hamilton and Christian Gonzalez. I'm gonna give them both abilities. Gonzalez will go universal coverage, and I'm gonna give him two AP acrobat. I wanna try that out on Christian Gonzalez. I'm also gonna give Derwin James deep in zone KO if I can. Yeah, I can. For 2 AP, we can try deep end zone KO. I've never used it before. I just want to try it out. And we might have some extra room. Might be able to put Crusher on Ray Lewis. Yeah, defensively right now, we are only using 5 AP. All right, boys. That's 9 to 9 AP on defense. Kyle Hamilton, Christian Gonzalez, Ray Lewis, and Derwin James. Beautiful. We're sitting at an 82 overall. We've got Dak, Kyle Hamilton, and Christian Gonzalez on the line here. The last thing before the first episode of San Francisco 49ers season is our Christmas challenge wheel. Let's see what the challenge is. Oh my God. No way. In the very first episode, Debo package touchdown. Wow. I didn't expect to get this right now. Let's get it. All right. I got to score a touchdown out of gun Debo package. Here's the only thing that sucks about it right now is my only good wide receiver is Jamar. So in the backfield, and that's still, that's still really good. This Jamar is really good. Uh, my defense is a lot better than my offense right now. I got an 83 overall defense and 80 overall offense. Let's play ball boys. Kyle Hamilton, Ray Lewis, and Rob Gronkowski. He's got Lamar, Shannon Sharp, Le'Veon Bell. Why does Le'Veon Bell have Ravens camp? Did Le'Veon Bell play for the Ravens? He's played for the Jets, the Chiefs, the Ravens, Tampa Bay. Ravens theme team taking on Niners theme team in my very first game? Wait a minute. Boys, is this a Super Bowl preview? I mean, I'm not exactly a 49ers theme team. Oh, wait, shit. We gotta be careful. This is kickoff. Good tackle, Kyle Hamilton. I knew you were the right choice. Also, boys, I hope you noticed those five-minute quarters. Right now, I'm playing in Mutt Champions. Drop in the 40 bomb, and I can open the Immaculate Pack. I want to do it so badly. It's going to start out with an RPO that is criminally bagged. Great start. Ray Lewis and Cam Chancellor in the middle of this defense. We're in dollar three, two. I haven't looked at the... Oh, wait. Avalanche. Avalanche! Avalanche! Ray Lewis! Ramsey's still up! Oh my god, Avalanche! 
<laughs> Dude, that's gotta hurt so bad. Against the Ravens Steve team, that's gotta hurt so bad. I don't know if he didn't notice that I had it or what, but that was just so stupid of him. Oh my God, what a start, boys. Also, if you're wondering why Ramsey's out there, Ramsey's a free 83 overall. He's actually not supposed to be on this lineup, but I think he must have come in. Wait, let me go into my depth chart. I just want you guys to see that. I don't ever want to cheat Wheel of Mutt. He must be in at my slot corner on accident. Slot corner right now, the backup is 82 overall Jalen Ramsey. So let's just sub him out and let's make the backup be Cam Chancellor. And now hopefully he can't come in anymore. Okay, let's get in Gun Debo package. Here it is, Gun Debo package. This has got Najee in the backfield, and it's got... Oh, okay. So for now, it's just putting the duo running backs back there. All I gotta do is get a touchdown out of this formation. That shouldn't be too big of an ask. We're gonna go into Josh Oliver. Don't fumble. See him come in there, trying to rip that out. Great work, Josh Oliver. This is the formation I meant. I'm sorry, boys. The challenge wheel is supposed to have a wide receiver in the backfield. So forgive me. The actual formation is slot wide receiver backfield. But so why do you have a package called Debo if I can't put a wide receiver? In? I'm gonna start this out with dragon spacing. We're gonna block Josh Oliver. Hopefully give us a little bit of time. And I didn't activate Dax abilities because I'm the stupidest idiot on planet Earth. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to ball out anyway. There's into Jamar Chase, who also doesn't have abilities. What did I do in the pregame? Does anybody have abilities on offense, Gronk? Looks like Gronk's just going to casually carry this team. Dak! You don't need abilities, Dak! Let's go! Touchdown on a gun slot. Debo package, whatever you want to call it. Challenge wheel is complete. Could this be the greatest season opener to Wheel of Mutt ever? That's the real question. Could it be? Now keep in mind, the Christmas challenge wheel isn't- Oh no, Matt. Okay, that's actually good what I just did. That slowed him down, yeah. That dive was actually pretty good. Forced him to take an angle where he couldn't return that. Okay, so we don't have, let's look at defense. We do not have nickel 3-3. Very good defense. Do have even 6-1. Yes! Boys, this is my absolute favorite defense. And Philadelphia Eagles did not have this. So to get it back here is so nice. Does he really? I don't think he takes off here. That is so fucking risky. All right, so in this defense, we have Derwin High, Adrian Phillips, Kyle Hamilton, Gonzo, and then Ray Lewis in the middle. This is so good. This defense will be complete once we get good edge rushing linebackers, or at least pass covering, because right now I have two silver linebackers in here. Once I get those upgraded, this will be a lot better. Oh, dig. Come across the middle. I know you want it. Oh, we're not fast enough for this fraud. Another fumble. Nick Bosa. If only Nick Bosa had an upgrade. Guys, he's getting a ghost of mutt, right? You're watching this right now, and you're saying to yourself, wow, I can't wait for Papa Meeks to see the ghost of mutt. Right, guys? Right? Oh, Al Lamar with that. He's in pistol. Let's blitz. Let's blitz our silvers here. He's going to go play action. Beal, the silver. Rashard Beal. I think that's his name. I don't know. It says R.Beal. I just subbed that in from my brain. If I was right, I'm a genius. Oh, great rifle. Kyle Hamilton's there for a big hit, but he hangs on. Okay, it's a pass. It's short. It's Lamar. It's a crusher hit stick open field from the father, Ray Lewis. And I went for a big punch out right there. Kyle Hamilton's having none of your shit. He's going to have two fumbles. He actually already has two fumbles. He's going to have a third here. We just rocked his shit. Ooh, that's a good pass. He's attacking my silvers. If you know they're passing, I like to put my ends on, uh, on light blues. He has got absolutely nothing. Dude, he's criminally fucking bagged here. Although that's a silver over there. Jones is a silver. So he just can't animate on that. No lurk artist. He's not a safety. I don't know if he knew that when he threw it. But that was a criminal bag. Come on. You want to go get him, Bosa? No, Bosa, you fucking fraud. Oh, peel back. Oh, I saw. Oh, my God. I'm in your head right now. I am in your head. Here we go. He's not going to expect this. He doesn't expect the blitz. I've been all zoned up. Dropping. S oh, fuck. I guess pass. He... he here we go. I'm going to put this silver on a spy. There is absolutely nowhere for you to throw. I fucking dare you. <laughs> Dude, what? He stepped out? I was out of position Gilmore with the bag cell. RPO. Kyle Hamilton. Damn. Raven Ravens Le'Veon Bell is giving me some trouble right now. All right, this is RPO. I just have to go bag the RPO side of this. Oh, good play. That was a difficult drive for him, though. That was a very difficult... Hey, he got in. Congratulations, but that was difficult. Here we go. Let's bag this. Two-point conversion. 
Oh, I'm right there. Let's go. Any closer and I pick it. Excellent defense. And look who got home. Kyle Hamilton. Gonna rifle this into Gronk. We're gonna have to use Gronk a lot. There's not a lot of people I trust with the ball in their hands right now. I mean, Singletary kind of. He's 89 overall and he's five foot seven. I'm kind of scared of him. Getting fucking blown up. Second and 10, good defense. I'm just gonna take the check down. I didn't see anything I liked. No hot route master. I don't have abilities on Gronk. I have literally one ability on this whole team and that's mid in elite. Ooh, why is that so open? I have literally never in my life ran that far. Oh, uh, do I inside zone this? Oh my God, he absolutely did that. Fourth and inches, couldn't get a push. I, that was probably just a bad play call. I don't have the offensive line to be trying to make a play like that, but holy fuck! Are you kidding me? Ray! Ray Lewis is single-handedly owning this Ravens team team. Defense wins championships. I'm going for two. Let's get fucking weird with it too. I'm gonna get really, I'm running gun tray open read up. That was a nasty pick six. If I kept running right there, I would've overran the ball. I think he's gonna bite on this fucking read. He bites. No. What? All right, we gotta stay in his head defensively. We stay in his head defensively. We win this ball game. Ooh, Adrian Phillips? Adrian Phillips with a knockout right there. I like that. All right, who's over there? Adrian Phillips. Oh, oh, oh! Adrian Phillips! Adrian Phillips is playing like a dog today. No! I have an 82 overall! Oh, my God! Oh, let's go! Season opener, cheek clapping in Mutt Champions. Let's go, boys! Absolutely massive W. Before I go anywhere, I need to activate these abilities. Holy shit. We just won that game with zero ability. Um, actually, the meta is to run set feet lead and a hot route master and actually suck my dick! Mutt Champions dub, 82 overall, zero abilities on offense, Ligma Sugma. By the way, why was open at 15? By the way, your mother's ass cheeks were wide open on my bed when I bent her over and clapped that shit, impregnated her. Your little brother shares my jeans. Woo! Nice. Okay. Hey, great work, boys. The very first thing I'm going to do is I am going to buy a mystery present to add to our collection. My challenge wheel was to get a touchdown out of Gun Debo package. And guess what, baby? I did it. So we're going to start there. Our mystery present. Lavish, lavish, lavish. You're sucking me dry and licking my balls. Lavish present. Night. Oh my God. Oh my God. We actually have two of these now. What are the odds of that? All right. So this is probably a blitz player. And remember, I'm sitting there talking about Puka Nakua. I don't know if you'd be able to pull Puka Nakua in this low-key though. Oh, you know what's gonna suck is if I pull Christian Gonzalez in this. Oh, I should have thought about that before I took Gonzo. But here's the thing. We won that game off of defense. So I made the right call taking Gonzo. I can't, I can't second guess that. That's a great start. And then the other great thing we get to do is in the season opener, we're spinning the get gooder wheel. So you better get gooder, bud. One spin on the rage quit wheel. We earned it, baby. 25k one player. Nothing too OP, but 25k. This could snag me a lot of different things. I feel like we go offensive line here. That fourth and inches would have been really simple if I had a good offensive line. What would we say is the most important piece in on this offensive line, right? Or do we pick up an outside linebacker? Robert Beal Jr., Truman Jones. There might be some like really meta play we can make here. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There actually is a meta play I can make here. I'm pretty sure 87 overall Luke Keekley gets Lurk Curtis. Like this bummy Luke Keekley. Okay. It's 25,000 coins, one player. Luke Keekley's 22,000 coins. I'm pretty sure he can get Lurk Artist. If so, we're going to have an outside linebacker with Lurk Artist. This is going to be a gigantic upgrade. Oh my God, he actually gets Lurk Artist. That's huge. Now remember, Lurk Artist activates even if you're not usering the player. So for example, in that game we just played, he was lofting those passes right over my silver linebackers. No shot. Luke, this Luke Keekly jump up, take that shit. All right, so we're gonna move 87 middle linebacker Luke Keekly to right outside linebacker. He is the exact same overall at right outside linebacker, except he's got Lurk Artist. We just need to take some AP off of somebody. I think Crusher Kyle Hamilton is overkill. I just did it because it was fun. And uh, Ray Lewis. Lewis, we literally got to see my prestige reason. Dude, literally the reason I prestiged this Ray Lewis was for that avalanche. And on the second play of the game, we got to see it in action. And we recovered it too. Okay, awesome. So we got Luke Keekley now, and now we actually have an AP to spare. Uh, I'll be looking to pick up another Lurk Artist linebacker next episode. And then I'll be back to three Lurk Artists, and I'll feel so much better about this defense. Uh, well, hell of a start. Hopefully next episode, honestly, will be offense dominated, since this offense is is 
looking pretty pitiful. Hey, that was an amazing, amazing episode. So this Wheel Up dropped Wednesday the 20th. I'll have another video for you Saturday. I'll have the Christmas special for you on Monday. And then probably on the 29th is when I'll actually have recorded all the presents opening. So it'll be one episode after Christmas without presents. Hell of an episode, boys. 49ers season is shaping up to be an amazing season. Our top five players right now are Kyle Hamilton, Ray Lewis, the Ravens duo. Then we got the Patriots duo, Gronk and Gonzalez. And then it's America's team, baby. Dak Prescott who ran that touchdown in. I'm so excited to see how this team progresses. It's already off to a killer start. And Adrian Phillips with a career day. Who would have thought the Patriots would get love? That poverty franchise. <laughs> Am I right, guys? The Patriots suck. Hey, Patriots fans, if you want to join a real franchise like the Detroit Lions, feel free, you guys. <laughs> Where's Tom Froddy to save you now, bud? Yeah. Wish you had a quarterback like Jared Goff, huh? Ah. All right, love you, boys. Bye.